Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. Today for our lesson, we're going to talk about fractions on a number line. As we're doing that, we're going to be using um, what we've learned about fractions with number bonds to help us. So our learning goal for today says, I can place fractions on a number line with the end point as 0 and 1. So that's going to be anything we're doing is going to be a fraction between 0 and 1. Nothing larger than 1 for today's lesson. So let's jump in and get started. So we're going to talk about number bonds um, and fractions on a number line. So if I have 2 thirds, okay, so my fraction is 2 thirds. How many equal parts are in the whole of 2 thirds? So one equal part, two equal parts, three equal parts for the whole one of in thirds. Yeah, three, because we're separating something into thirds, so there's three equal parts. How many of those equal parts have been counted? So think about counting, as right now our fraction is two-thirds. So how many equal parts have been counted so far if you're looking at the fraction two-thirds? Yeah, two. One-third, two-thirds. So now we're going to count up to two-thirds, starting at one-third. So one-third, two-thirds. So that's just kind of a quick review. So now we have two-thirds, we're going to draw a number bond of one whole with one part as two-thirds. So we have our number bond, the whole is one, and we're going to do one of our parts as two-thirds. So what's the other part of our number bond going to be, friends? Yeah, one third because two thirds plus one third equal a whole or also three thirds. Three thirds is another way that represents one whole. So we're going to continue working with two thirds. We have our number bond here. We're going to draw a number line to match our number bond. So I'm going to draw this nice number line. I'm going to label my endpoints of zero and one. Now I'm going to break apart my number line into thirds. So notice that I'm not going to automatically draw three lines because I'm drawing it into thirds. I'm going to draw two lines which represents my three equal parts. So one, two, three. Next, we're going to label our endpoints again as fractions. So we have zero thirds, that's the same as zero, and one third is also the same as three thirds. And then I can start with my finger on my number line of zero thirds, and then I go to the next interval, which is one third, take my finger and continue to slide it over, and I land on two thirds. So now I've labeled my number line with my fractions. So now we're going to locate two thirds on the number line. So you can slide your finger over again. Zero thirds, one third, two thirds. So there's where two thirds would be represented on a number line. All right, now you guys are gonna need your dry erase board for this next part. We're gonna model three fifths. So you're gonna draw a number bond of one whole with one part as three fifths. So you're gonna complete your number bond, okay? Then you're going to draw a number line to match the number bond. There we go. And then you're going to locate three fifths on the number line. So the same thing that we just did with two thirds. Now you're going to work on your own for this lesson of three fifths. So go ahead and pause the video and complete the number bond and also draw your number line to match your number bond and locate three fifths on the number line. So pause your video, do that now. Click play when you're ready to go over it together. Okay, friends, here we go. We're going to go over our number bond to match three-fifths and our number line. So if you need more time, make sure you click pause. If not, here we go. So here's my one whole. Three-fifths is one part and two-fifths is the other part. Now we're going to come over to our number line and we're going to model this on our number line. So we're going to label our endpoints of 0 and 1. 
I'm going to break this apart into fifths. So there should be five equal parts. So one equal part, two equal parts, three equal parts, four, and then five. So here's one part, two parts, three parts, four parts, and our fifth part. So now zero as a fraction can be represented as zero fifths, and one whole can be represented as five fifths. So let's go in and label our numbers in between. So we're at zero fifths on the end, and we have one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, and we already have labeled our five fifths, which is one whole. And then here is where three fifths would be represented on the number line. So friends, does your number bond and your number line match what I just shared with you? All right, awesome, great job if it does. If it doesn't, just take another look, go, go back just a little bit in the video and rewind, watch this part of the video again, and then see where you can make yours match up with mine. So high five to you guys, great job for placing fractions on a number line. You guys did a fantastic job. Please, let, uh, please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete next for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends.